Hello guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now let's solve this problem. It says that replace the loading system acting on the beam by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment at point O. So now uh, we are given this uh, loading system, this these two forces and this couple and we want to replace it by the resultant force and resultant couple at this point O. So for that we have to find the resultant uh, the resultant of these two forces at point O and then we have to find the resultant moment of these two forces and this couple. So first of all we have to find the our x component of the resultant that will be equal to the summation of forces or component along the x axis. So that will be equal to and towards the right is our positive x direction this is our positive x direction this is our positive y direction so now to apply this equation first of all we have to resolve this 450 newton force into its components so this 450 newton force is making 30 degrees with the vertical so we will have uh, this component this one will be the cost component since the angle is made with this component so we can say that this is 450 cos of 30 and here we will have the sine component so this is 450 sine of 30 degrees so now we, we need to add up the x component so we have only this sine component this is acting in the negative x direction so this is the only force which is acting along the x direction so we will write that this is minus since it is acting in the negative x direction so we will put minus 450 sine of 30 so our x will be equal to the sine component of this 450 so this is uh, minus 450 sine of 30 so this is equal to minus 225 minus 225 newtons similarly to we need to find r y the vertical component of the resultant that will be equal to the summation of forces along the y axis uh, in the upward direction this is our positive y direction this is our positive y direction so now we have this 200 newton force in the upward direction this is in the positive direction so i will write plus 200 and this cost component this is in the negative y direction so we will subtract it minus 450 cos of 30 so this will give us the y component of the resultant so this is 200 minus 450 cos of 30 this is equal to minus 189.71 newton now this is the resultant if we if we write the resultant as a vector so the resultant vector will be equal to rx so the rx magnitude is 225 and it is acting in the negative direction so this this means that it is acting in the negative i direction so we will write that this is minus 255i and the ry magnitude is this and it is acting in the negative j direction so we will write minus 189.71 this is in the negative j direction so now we need to show uh, this resultant vector on this beam once we remove these two forces we we, rem we replace these two forces by this resultant at point o so we will have the same effect that is produced by these individual forces this resultant will produce that same effect that is produced by these two forces so now we can replace these two forces by a single force at at point O and at point O we have this our x component in the negative x direction which has a magnitude of this 255 and the our y component that is also in the negative y direction so the resultant will be acting in this direction somehow like this this is the resultant and let's say that this resultant is making some angle theta with the horizontal so now we can find the resultant magnitude the resultant magnitude is equal to so we will take the square of the x component plus the 
square of the y component and then we will take the square root that will give us the magnitude of the resultant that will replace those two forces so 255 square plus 189.71 square this gives us the resultant magnitude equal to 317.83 newton so we will write that this resultant has a magnitude of 317.83 newton and now we want to find the angle with the horizontal so now we can add this rx and this ry so we will have the triangle like this this is rx this is ry and this is the resultant and this is that theta so we can find the angle theta if i represent that ry here let me write that this is rx this is ry and this is r this is theta so we can apply tan theta so tan theta is perpendicular perpendicular is r y divided by r x so we can say that theta is equal to 10 inverse r y magnitude is 189.71 r x magnitude is 255 this will give us the angle so 10 inverse 189.71 divided by 255 this gives us 36.65 theta is equal to 36.65 degrees and this angle is with the negative x-axis is like this so this is that theta angle so now the resultant magnitude is this this is 317.83 and it is making 36.65 degrees with the horizontal so now uh, after this we will find the resultant couple moment we will find the resultant couple moment at point o due to due to these two forces and this couple so we will find the resultant the resultant couple moment let's say about point o this will be equal to the summation of moment by all the forces so we can say that this will be equal to the moment produced by uh, the moment produced by this 450 newton let me write that let me write that the moment by 450 newton about point o then plus the moment about that 200 newton force about point o and plus the couple moment which is given this couple moment this is 200 newton meter and always remember that the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so now the resultant couple moment about point o is equal to so now as we can see that uh, this cost component is producing the clockwise moment about point o so we will write the clockwise moment is negative so minus 450 cos of 30 and the moment arm of this cost component from this point o is this perpendicular distance which is 1.5 so we will multiply this with 1.5 similarly this sign component this is producing the counterclockwise moment about point o so we will write the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so we will write plus and this is 450 sine of 30 and the moment arm of this sign component from that point o is this distance which is 0.2 so we will multiply it with 0.2 similarly this 200 newton force this is producing the counterclockwise moment about point o this 200 so we will write plus 200 and the moment arm of this 200 newton force from that point o is 2 plus 1.5 so this is 3.5 so we will multiply it with 3.5 meters and then at the end this 200 newton meter couple this is in the clockwise direction so we will write that this is minus so minus 200 so this will give us the resultant moment due to this loading about point o so minus 450 into 1.5 cos of 30 plus 450 into 0 0.2 sine of 30 and then plus 200 into 3.5 minus 200 so this gives us minus 
39.57 newton meter so the resultant couple moment about point o due to the given loading is this this is minus 39.57 so the magnitude is 39.57 and the negative sign tells us that the resultant couple moment is in the clockwise direction so we will show that resultant couple uh, on this free body diagram so that is in this direction and the magnitude is 39.57 newton meter so now we need to erase these components so this is So now we have replaced these two forces along with the couple by this resultant uh, resultant force and couple. So here we have done a small mistake. This is this is 225. So instead of 225, I have written this as 255. So if we, we need to correct ourselves, this is this is 225. So 225. So this gives us 294 instead of 317. This is 294 this is 294.30 newton and here we also need to correct uh, here so this is this is 225 and now theta is uh, 10 inverse 189.71 divided by 225 this gives us 40.13 degrees so the resultant magnitude is 294.30 this is not 317 this is 294.30 newton and the angle is 40.13 and the resultant couple moment is 39.57 newton meter in the clockwise direction